Hello and welcome to this module on Clinical Trials, Study Initiation. This program is designed to provide a practical, realistic context to help qualified physicians, pharmacists, physician assistants, nurse practitioners, research scientists, and clinical research professionals learn the framework needed to conduct safe, effective, and compliant clinical trials. Through use of a case study, the program will cover the roles and responsibilities of the clinical investigator and others in the study process, regulations and guidelines that govern clinical investigation, practices that ensure effective, efficient, and ethical study conduct. After completing this activity, you should be better able to describe the roles and responsibilities of the Institutional Review Board or Independent Ethics Committee, explain the correct way to complete the FDA Form 1572, Describe financial disclosure requirements of the clinical investigator and study staff. Identify the elements of the informed consent document, including HIPAA authorization. Identify the documents necessary to submit to the IRB before a study begins. Identify the purpose, attendees, and activities of the study initiation meeting and the investigator meeting. And explain how clinical trial files should be organized. In this module, you'll follow a fictitious clinical investigator and her team as they conduct a clinical trial on a fictitious medication called Reductin. Meet Dr. Susan Miller. Dr. Miller has made a name for herself treating hypertension and angina patients and is busy on a daily basis. Dr. Miller was recently contacted by a colleague from Be Well Pharma who asked if she would be interested in conducting a phase 3 clinical study for Reductin a drug that Be Well is developing to treat hypertension. Dr. Miller and her team conducted a thorough feasibility study on the trial, and she has decided to participate in the clinical trial. In this program, you'll follow the activities of Dr. Miller and her staff as they conduct a clinical trial. You'll be required to make decisions about how Dr. Miller and others should proceed through the trial. Each scenario is designed to challenge and enhance your knowledge of the regulations, guidelines, and practices for conducting clinical trials. Module 2 begins where Module 1 left off. Dr. Miller and her staff need to complete a number of tasks as part of initiating the study. In this module, the team will complete FDA Form 1572, Statement of Investigator. Complete the Financial Disclosure Form. Create informed consent and HIPAA documentation. Submit study documentation to the IRB and obtain IRB approval to begin the study. Attend the investigator meeting. Hold the study initiation meeting. Organize the study files. And prepare to begin enrolling subjects. Thank you.